good morning. It's, uh, it's Thursday, and I hope you're off to a good start in your day. When we think about failure in our lives and how do we overcome it, one, one of the main things I have to do is to stop making excuses. Stop making excuses. Stop rationalizing it. Stop uh, you know, blaming my wife. Stop seeing myself as a victim of circumstances. You know, my, my favorite one over 41 years is to blame Lydia. I mean, come on, guys. Isn't that the easiest one? I make a mistake. And it's Lydia's fault. I mean, this goes all the way back to the Garden of Eden, right? Uh, you know, they get caught in their sins. And what do they do? They don't own it. They blame each other. Uh, Adam blamed his wife and his wife Eve blamed the snake and then the snake didn't have a leg to stand on. I knew you knew that was coming and it was a good one, right? The Bible says this in Proverbs 28, 13. This is powerful. A man who refuses to admit his mistakes can never be successful. But if he confesses and forsakes them, he gets another chance. If he confesses and forsakes them, he gets another another chance. Here's the really good news. God wants to give you another chance and another chance and another chance. And as long as there's breath in your body, you may be 90 years old and you're still going to make mistakes. And God says, if you confess them and forsake them, you get another chance. So I'm going to stop blaming the government. I'm going to stop blaming my wife. I'm going to stop blaming the alignment of the stars or biorhythms or whatever it may be. I'm going to stop blaming and I'm going to start confessing and forsaking. And as I do that, I get another chance. Today, you get another chance. So do I. Let's, let's take it and do it. You'll be blessed. I'll see you tomorrow.